Hello again, and we're on a short series, and we're talking about death, resurrection, what happens when people die. We've talked a little bit about the second coming of Christ and, and some signs that we will be able to notice as we're getting closer to the second coming of Christ, even though nobody knows the exact day, but we should live every day as if he's coming tomorrow because we don't know. But let's talk about resurrection. In John chapter 5, verses 28 through 29, Jesus said, Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice. See, it's all fitting together. Jesus comes back, the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God, and those that are in the graves, they will hear the voice. Those that are in, in Sheol, in Hades, they will hear the voice and there will be a resurrection. The bodies that have turned to dust, the bodies that have been eaten by animals or drowned in the ocean or buried or cremated, they will come back together. That's not difficult for God to do at all, to bring all of the elements of the body back together after so many years. Not difficult at all for God who created the universe. He can do it. And so God will bring them back together when they hear the voice. All who are in the graves will hear His voice and come forth. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. And so when Jesus returns, the spirits of Christians who have died, who have been living with Jesus in heaven, will return with him. Their body will be resurrected and their spirits will enter their body again. Their body will not be the same as before. It will be the same, but a little different. Let's say that. It will be the same as before, but a little different. We'll still recognize one another, but it will be a different kind of a body. It will be the kind of body that will not get sick and that will not be weak and the kind of body that will live forever. We can read more about that in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. We will look the same and even though we will eat and walk, our body will not be limited to this earth. We will still remember the things that happened before that we did. Our new body will not be sick. Our new body will be ruled by the spirit and not be ruled by the stomach or the passions and desires of the flesh. Our new bodies are created to live on the earth with Jesus. You see, heaven is a temporary place. God will create a new heavens and a new earth and all of the righteous will live forever on the new earth. So we're not going to live forever ever in heaven. We'll live forever on, in the new earth. And that's in either first... 1 Peter or 2 Peter, the last chapter. God will destroy this earth and create a new heavens and new earth. God has a plan for us in eternity. And we will work with Him for whatever He wants to do. We will work together with Him for whatever His plan in eternity is. And so let me read to you in 1 Corinthians just about the new body. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 talks all about resurrection. The whole chapter is about resurrection. And in verse 35, it starts talking about the new body. And so we get some ideas of what our new body will be like. But someone will say, how are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? Foolish one, what you sow or what you plant is not made alive unless it dies. And what you sow or what you plant, you do not plant that body, which shall be, but mere grain, perhaps one kind of grain or another kind of grain, but God gives it a body as He pleases, to each seed its own body. And so God is saying there's different kinds of bodies. There's the body of animals, there's the body of angels, there's all kinds of different seeds, there's all different kinds of bodies. And so God has a body for resurrected Christians. All flesh is not the same, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of animals, another fish, birds. There are also celestial bodies. Celestial means heavenly bodies and terrestrial bodies. Terrestrial means earthly. So Paul says there are heavenly bodies and there are earthly bodies. There's bodies made for heaven and there's bodies made for earth. But the glory of the heavenly body is one, and the glory of the earthly body is another. 
There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars, for one star differs from another in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead, 1 Corinthians 15, 42. The body is planted in corruption. When we die, our body is corrupted, goes back to earth, it's weak. But it is raised in incorruption. It, we die in weakness, but when we are raised up from the dead, we are raised up in strength. It was sown in dishonor, but it will be, but it will be raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, but it is raised in power. It is sown, it is planted, or dies as a natural body, but it is raised up as a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. So it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. That's Adam. The last Adam, Jesus, became a life-giving spirit. And go, Paul goes on to say in verse 49, And as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. So Paul says, we've had an Adam, the body of Adam. We've had the body of Adam for all of our life. But after we die and we're resurrected, we're going to have a body like Jesus, is what he says. He said, we've carried the image of Adam, but after we're resurrected, we're going to carry the image of Jesus. Look, Jesus, after he was resurrected, they recognized him, and he recognized them. Jesus ate fish with them. Uh, Jesus was able to communicate with them. But Jesus also walked through walls. Jesus also ascended up in the sky to heaven. So Jesus' body, after his resurrection, was different from his earthly body. The same for us. Finally, in verse 50, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. We shall not all die. But we shall all be changed. In a moment... In the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. <laughs> you see what I've been telling you? Is that spirit and soul in heaven with all other believers from the beginning... The unbelievers are in Hades, in, in suffering, in torment. Everybody is waiting for the last day. Eventually, at the day when the, our Heavenly Father has chosen, Jesus will come back. There will be the sound of an archangel. There will be the trumpet of God. And those who have died, their body will be resurrected, a glorious, strong, healthy, spiritual, heavenly body, and their spirits will be re reunited with it. Those of, who are alive on the earth when Jesus comes back, they will be caught up to meet Him, and their bodies will be changed as well. And then Jesus will come back to earth, and then there will be a judgment. Let me just share with you in our last lesson about the two different judgments.